Hey kids, we're going to do some more dividing today. <clears throat> Please um, open your book and take out your materials. Then what we'd like you to do, <clears throat> if you look at some of these problems, I want to point out some things when we are dividing, okay? <clears throat> First thing, when dividing, you need to know that a calculator will only be so useful to you. It, it really is, you know, some of us are way too dependent on it, but we are encouraged to use it for PSSA, but it will be limited in helping you divide. When you do not know, guess and check. Yesterday I showed you how to guess and check to find quotients. That is a great strategy. And check your answer using the inverse operation. This will tell you if both the quotient and the remainder are correct. Okay. With your marker board out, we're going to begin doing some problems. Okay, this is the first problem that I would like you to do. I'm going to pause the video and then I'd like you to do the problem. Okay kids, I'm going to show you how to do it. Jump in and check your work as we go. Of course, the first thing that you need to do is set up your problem correctly. And we have to ask ourselves, how many times will 18 go into 83? It will go in four times. Four times 18 is 72. Subtract, and you get 11 as a partial product. That's lower than 18. Bring down your zero. We now have 18 and 110. It will go six times. Six times 18 is 108. Subtract 108, you get a partial product of 2. Bring down your 6, and you have 26. 18 into 26 will go 1 time. 1 times 18 is 18. 26 subtract 18 leaves you with a remainder of 8. Erase your boards, and let's try another one. Number 12, I would like you to do this problem. I'm going to pause the video and you do it. Okay, kids, we're going to check it. If you're not done, step in and when we get to the point you're at. Here we go. 4,392 divided by 33. 33 goes into... 43 one time, 1 times 33 is 33. Subtract, and you end up with a partial product of 10. Bring down your 9. 33 into 109 will be 3 times. 3 times 33 is 99. This is a nice situation forming up here. 109 take away 99 leaves you with a partial product of 10. Bring down your 2. And you have 102 divided by 33. Again, from the previous division, you know that it'll go in three times. And we have 99 subtracted from 102, which leaves you with a remainder of three. Okay, erase your board. Let's try another one. Next problem. 3,308 divided by 63. I'll pause the video while you do the problem. All right, we're going to go over the quotient for 3,308 divided by 63. If you have questions or concerns, raise your hand and I'll be around the room to help you. Okay, once again, we're just going to go through the quotient and the process. We have 63, cannot go into 3, cannot go into 33, but it can go into 330. So 63 into 330 would be 5 times. 5 times 63 is 315. When we subtract, we get a partial remainder 
of 15, which is less than 63, and makes, and it tells us we're good to bring down the 8. 63, 158 divided by 63, 63 will go into 158 evenly two times, 2 times 63 is 126. Subtract, and you end up with 2 and 3, so you end up with a remainder of 32. So our answer is 52, remainder 32. Erase your board. Next problem. 7,304 divided by 71. I will pause the video while you set up and complete the problem. Okay kids, majority of students have finished. I'm going to show you how the problem was solved. Jump in and join if you're not done when we reach the point you're at. Okay, 71. You cannot go into 7. 71 into 73. We'll go one time. One times 71 is 71. Subtract, and you end up with the partial remainder of 2. Bring down your 0. 71 cannot go into 20. 20 cannot be divided by 71, so we have to say it is divided 0 times. We now bring down the 4, and we have... The dividend 204 divided by 71, it will go in there, 71 will divide 204 two times, 2 times 71 is 142. Subtract, 4 take away 2 is 2, borrow from the 2 becomes 1, 0 becomes 10, and subtract and you end up with a remainder of 62. So the answer is 102 remainder of 62. Erase your board and now what we're going to do is we're going to do another problem. Please set up that problem and complete it. I will pause the video. Well, looks like the majority of students have finished. I'm going to start the video. If you're finished or not finished, please watch carefully and check your quotient and all the work alongside this video. Okay, 8,741 divided by 22. You can see that 22, you cannot divide 8 by 22, but you can divide 87 by 22. 87 can be divided by 22, a total of 3 times. 3 times 22 is 66. We subtract, and we have 7 take away 6 is 1, 8 take away 6 is 2, and we have a very close 21, but it is less than 22, so that is good. All right, we bring down our 4. And now we have 214 divided by 22. 22 divides that 9 times. 9 times 22 is 198. And when we subtract, we will get, we will have to borrow across the 1. So we have 2 will become 1. 1 will become 11, but we cross that 11 out to make it 10. So we can use and regroup and forward into 14. 14 take away 8 is 6. 10 take away 9 is 1. Our partial, our partial remainder is 16. Bring down the 1 to 161. 161 remaining, divide that by 22, and it will go in there a total of 7 times. 7 times 22 is 154. When you subtract that, you have a remainder of 7. So our answer is 397, remainder of 7. <clears throat> Erase your board. And here's a word problem for you. See if you can solve that word problem, number 35. I will pause the video. Okay, kids, I'm going to start it up. The majority of students have answered. 
There are 100, there are 1,422 possible words that can be used for the spelling bee. This number is 18 times more than will be used in the contest. How many words will be used in the contest? Well, notice the word times, and in order to figure this out, the unknown amount, it's actually 18 times more than will be used, than an unknown. Okay, so it is 18 times some unknown amount equals 1,422. Well, of course, we're going to find the answer to this. We want to get n by itself. So what we need to do is we are going to divide on both sides to come up with the answer here. So this is definitely a multiplication situation solved through division. Okay, so here we go. The problem will then be 1,422 divided by 18. 18 can't go into 1, it can't go into 14, but it can go into 142. So 142 divided by 18 is 7. 7 times 18 is 126. Subtract and you get 16. Bring down your 2, and you have 162 divided by 18 to be 9. 9 times 18 is exactly 162, which gives you 0 as an answer. So your answer is 79. Very good job, kids. We're going to continue to practice our division. You did a nice job.